falling asleep. <laughs> She's falling asleep. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do my Slay Everyday Makeup Look. And this is basically my go-to makeup look that I have been wearing non-stop at the moment. I literally just wear this makeup look at the moment. I feel like it goes with so much because I'm using very neutral tones. So I like to do my makeup before I get dressed. So any clothes that I wear, it goes with. <laughs> So I think that's the main reason why I like it and it's not it is dramatic I'm not saying it's not dramatic. It is dramatic, but it's not like clubbing makeup. It's not too dramatic um, So I just like to wear this makeup a lot at the moment if this look is quite dramatic for you um, And you don't really wear fake eyelashes or it's just a bit too much Then I will leave in the top line of the description box below my simple everyday makeup look where I don't wear lashes and it is so much more simplistic than this one. So I will leave that in the top line of the description box below. Also, I wanted to quickly mention, I understand that a lot of my looks can look quite similar because of the fake eyelashes and the eyeliner and I don't know, I just feel like a lot of them can look quite similar, which I completely get. But I thought because it's a new year, I'm just gonna show you guys my go-to everyday makeup looks. Um, and then from now on, I'm just gonna do more fun makeup looks and just looks that you guys want to see as well. So make sure you write in the comments down below all the looks that you guys want to see because I have got loads written down but I want to know what you guys are interested in because I love hearing your ideas and I've used so many of your ideas before in my videos. So it'd be amazing if you could write in the description below, in the description below, in the comments below, like as many video requests as you wish <laughs> because I will probably film it so make sure you write in the comments. Anyway, if you want to see how to create this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to put my amazing headband on. My, oh, I mean that went well. I'm going to put my headband on because you want your hair all out of your face. I feel like a little school kid every time I wear this. My mum loves it when I wear a headband like this. I don't know why, I feel like Blair from Gossip Girl. Anyway, to start off, I'm gonna use the NYX First Base Primer, which you guys know how much I love this. And then what I'm gonna do is grab this NYX, NYX, NYX? <laughs> this NYX Pore Filler, which I wouldn't recommend using every single day, which I'm starting to at the moment, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, because I do feel like it doesn't clog your pores, but it's clearly not good for your skin if it's a pore filler. I do like to put a little amount on, mainly on my nose and under my eyes. I just, I feel like it makes such a difference. And I didn't wear it the other day and I was like, oh my God. So it's literally one of my favorite products ever. So I'm now gonna grab this Iconic London, it's a, it's a pigment stick, but it's like a foundation stick. Um, in the shade HH6, I think that's what it is. I don't know, that's what it says at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is just sort of do lines on my face. Okay, I've definitely got the wrong shade. I'll be back. So I picked up the wrong stick. As you can see, I'm testing the makeup. What I'm gonna do is mix um, HY6 and JG6. Whoa. I'm gonna mix them on my face. So what I'm gonna do is just do lines on my face. It's so fun, I feel like I'm just painting a canvas. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do lines on my face and then go down on my neck. My neck? <laughs> These are quite full coverage, so try, I sometimes, when I first tried these out, I was just like, oh my God. And I basically covered my whole face with this stick alone, without buffing it in. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm so cakey. So with these sticks, you've got to be so careful to not overdo it. Because you can look really cakey with them on. And it's just not a pretty look, is it? So once you've drawn like lines on your face, you're then going to grab a brush. And then go in circular motions on your face. And then go down on your neck. I always do that. I talk and I'm like, ugh. I'm now going to grab this Bourjois Healthy Mix concealer and I'm just going to squirt some out and then dot it on my face. Um, it is very pigmented so just be quite careful. I love this concealer. 
And then I'm going to grab this Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. It's not really a concealer because it's not that pigmented in that way. It's basically to just brighten your eyes. So I like to mix it with my concealer. Lottie loves makeup wipes. So annoying. But right now I look really cool. I'm just going to buff that in and... <laughs> Oh my god, um, with my Damp Beauty Blender, which is from Primark, and I love the Primark Beauty Blenders. I like this one because it's so soft. I know it's weird to say that a sponge is soft because all sponges are soft, but if you use like the Royal Techniques one or any other ones, they're so much harder, and I literally feel like I'm getting a rock and I'm like smacking it on my face to blend it in. I'm not even joking. So it's nice to use something that's really soft on your skin and I feel like it doesn't tug as much and it just blends in so much better. I'm then gonna grab my Rimmel Stay, ooh, Stay Matte Powder and where is the brush? And then my Sigma F79 brush and I'm just going to set my concealer in place. I'm going to use a bigger brush and just go over my whole face. It's sort of like my face makeup-ish. It's sort of the same that I've done on my simple everyday makeup. But there is a lot that I do a lot differently. But this is just what I do on an everyday basis, basically. Because I like my makeup to look nice every day. I'm not saying if you do it simple, it's not nice. But personally, I like to just be a little bit more dramatic because... That's me. <laughs> the trick with this is you can't do it, like don't put loads on your brush and then put it on your face. You have to sort of spread it out. That way your makeup won't look really cakey and it will just look so flawless. So honestly, it makes such a difference. <laughs> Once you have locked all of your foundation and stuff in place, I'm then gonna go in with this. It's the Bare Minerals Original Powder, which is a foundation powder in medium tan. Again, I did use this in my last video. Up to here, I think it's the same, but then from after here, it's very different. So all I'm gonna do is sort of bronze up my face. It's like, I'm just, this is sort of like the starter from where I bronze up. I like to do it really, really lightly. And because this is a foundation, um, it just makes your makeup stay on, especially your bronzer. I always found that my bronzer throughout the day no matter what I've done, it always came off and it was so annoying. So what I like to do instead is I tried this technique a couple of weeks ago and it worked wonders. <laughs> so I just like to get this foundation, which is a couple of shades darker than my actual skin tone. And I like to just apply it where I'm going to apply the bronzer. Once that is all done, I'm gonna grab my NYX Hi highlighter palette? No, my NYX Condor palette, which does have a highlighter in it. <laughs> I'm gonna basically mix all of the bottom shades together because why not? <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is lightly just contour over the top of the darker foundation that I applied a minute ago. As you guys know, I like to get to this part of my base and then do my eyes and then go back to it. So what I'm gonna do first of all is prime my eyelids with the concealer I was using before, which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. And then I like to get a concealer brush and then just gently sort of buff that in without getting it too messy, which is what I've just done. Oh my God, I look great. <laughs> and, ah, oh, I'm dropping brushes on the floor. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and then just set my eyelids in place. For eyes, I'm gonna use two palettes. So I'm gonna use the Kylie Bible palette, which is one of my favorites. And then I'm also gonna use the Kylie Jenner Burgundy palette. Ooh. So at the moment, I have been using these two every day. So every day I do my makeup, I grab these two out of my drawer and that's what I use. <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Bible palette. Oh, oh, uh, oh God, I'm so clumsy today. Um, I'm gonna grab this shade here, which is just the first one. And I always like to do a base, even though I did set my concealer, this is a little bit lighter and I feel like it just, I don't know, it makes such a difference. 
So I'm literally applying this everywhere. I'm mainly focusing on the lid and then I'm gonna lightly go upwards towards my brow bone but I want most of the product to be on my lid so it's a lot lighter. I'm then gonna go in with the Kylie Jenner Burgundy palette and I'm gonna use this shade called Beach at the top. And I'm just gonna grab this BH101 brush, which is just a really, really thick brush. I'm gonna apply this really lightly on just above my crease. So this is just gonna be like the transition color and it's gonna create a lot of definition and it just, oh I love this. I think it really complements your eyes. No matter what eye color you have, it really complements them. So on an everyday basis, I like to use quite warm tones because I feel like no matter what outfit you wear, because I always do my makeup before my outfit, it just goes with any outfit you wear. Sometimes if I know I've worn an outfit and I want it to match, then I will do my makeup in contrast with my outfit so they go really nicely together. But I feel like, when you use warm tones, no matter what outfit you wear, your makeup will still look nice with it. So that's what I love as well. I'm just gonna grab a thinner brush and I'm gonna use the same color, but I'm just gonna drag it on my lower lash line. I feel like when you use a smaller brush, the color's so much more pigmented. And then I'm gonna go back with my angle blending brush and then just blend that color outwards. With this Karate E30 brush, I'm gonna grab this shade here, which is just like a darker brown. Oh my God, I've just got loads stuck in my fingernail. Nice one. Oh, I hate that. It's the worst feeling when you get loads of your eyeshadows in your nails. Oh, it cringes me out. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna really lightly focus on the outer corner of my eye and then lightly sort of blend that colour in with the rest but focusing on the outer corner. So this is going to make your eyes appear a lot bigger and it just creates such nice definition within your eyes. I just love it. I just love it. Get it? <laughs> and then I'm just going to go back with my angle blending brush, blend out the colours and then you should be left with something like this. So as you can see the difference, this has opened my eye a lot more. I'm not focusing the dark colours on the inner corner because that's what brings your eyes closer together. When you put like a darker eyeshadow on the outer corner, the eyes will appear a lot larger and I think it just blends in it really nicely with all of your makeup. So when you've applied your fake eyelashes and eyeliner and whatever else you wanna do. I'm then going to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to use this shade here, which is the second one. I'm going to gently pop that on the tear duct of both my eyes, not just one. And then also lightly on my brow bone. I know a lot of my looks can look quite similar. I saw someone say that the other day. They were like, all oh, your looks look really similar. But I don't know why. I think it's because... I don't know why they do. <laughs> um, I think it's the warm tones that I use maybe, I'm not sure. But after this look, I will promise you I'm gonna do loads of different makeup looks because I know you guys wanna see something more fun. Yeah. I'm gonna use this Miss Sporty Studio Lash Eyeliner. I will leave everything I use in the description below, like always. And I'm just gonna do a wing. You guys have seen me do this a hundred bazillion times. <laughs> So I'm just going to use this eyeliner to do a wing. And I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and then just apply a thick amount to my lashes. So I have, <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's one of those, it's one of those days where everything is falling on the floor. I'm not talking properly and I'm just still half asleep. <laughs> I mean, it is Monday, so I think it's all right. <laughs> but anyway, for lashes, I'm using these ones. I bought them, where did I buy them? Maybe from eBay? I think they're from eBay. They're some sort of mink ones, but I will leave them in the description below for you. I think they are, I can't remember. But I'll have to check my recent orders so I can show you guys. So what I'm gonna do is apply these onto my lashes. You knew that, so why did I tell you? I don't know. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm just gonna go back with the Carly Bible palette and use this one here, which is my favorite because you can really build them up, but if you want them to look quite natural and just a bit glowy, 
then you get that look as well it's so good so I like to just go up a bit here and then all the way down here I'm then going to use my Kiko blush that I have been using so much at the moment um, and it's just the double baked blush in the shade 2 which looks like this and then I'm just going to lightly pop some onto my cheeks it's not too pink which is why I like it it's got more of a shimmer to it so it's so beautiful and I'm sorry I haven't used another blush in ages I'm just loving this one at the moment so once that is done it is now time for lips I'm just going to put some lip balm on um, if you have any amazing lip balm requests please can you leave them in the description below I'm really trying to invest in some new lip balms so if you have any requests then it would be amazing if you could leave them in the description below not description below in the comments below <laughs> and I will definitely check them out because I'm trying to invest in a new one at the moment and I can't find like any good ones so I want to see what you guys use. Oh I'm using the Kylie Jenner Moon lip kit. I know I also use this a lot. I feel like some of the looks at the moment are quite samey but they're just they're ones that I've been loving at the moment but I'm going to start doing more celebrity inspired looks because I know you guys love them um, and I'm also going to do just some more fun makeup looks but I just thought to start off this year I wanted to show you my basics like everyday sort of makeup that I do and then move on to more dramatic and more fun makeup. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Safe Word because this is quite light the lipstick so let me show you. It's such a beautiful lipstick. I feel like it's the same as um, Velvet Teddy from MAC. But I prefer the consistency to this one. I think it's so much more moisturising and oh, I just love it. I'm going back with my uh, eyeliner, with my lip liner <laughs> and just sort of do an ombre-ish effect and just blend it in all nicely. So it's like that. Oh my god, I love it so much. I just think this lip consistency just makes the whole look so much better so everyone this is the this is i feel like i'm doing some sort of dance move <laughs> so everyone this is the final result i hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i loved making it for you start off this year i just thought i would do my basic makeups that i have been love that i've been love that I have been loving, that I've been loving. I have been loving at the moment and I just wanted to share them with you. So from now on, I'm gonna just change my looks up a lot and just share with you all the fun makeup ideas that I have. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you come and say hi to me on my other social medias. They will all be linked in the description below. So make sure you click them, click them. Well, that was very like, informative. I can't talk. Make sure you come and say hi to me on my other social medias and we can just interact in those different kind of ways. So thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.